shoulder, help the boomer You was used to Facebook Live uh, Generation X, Generation Z can tune it It's a show for the millennials and even boomers Generation X and Generation Z is right A shoulder, help the boomer You was used to Facebook Live It's mine Hello, virtual audience and our lovely contestants. I'm your host, Kid at Heart, Steve Starobinsky, and welcome to Mind the Gap Live, the game show that digitizes family game night, bringing boomers, Gen X, millennials, and even Gen Z for the ultimate game of intergenerational trivia. Teams will battle in five 45 second rapid fire rounds for bragging rights, internet notoriety, and a prize that they might consider to be worth it after it's all over. Lucky for me, I get to do this with the co-creator, co-owner, co-founder of Solid Roots, the game, or the company, Mind the Gap, the board game, Chris. Say hello. What's up? I, are we up in our prizes? Because normally it's one that disappoints. <laughs> yeah, I, I was thinking a pair of my novelty glasses Ooh. that I randomly have in my desk. We'll you talk have, about it later, Chris. You have excellent style, so that is a win. Thank you, thank you. On tonight's episode, very special, we have two influencer families battling against one another. First, bippity boppity booyah. Found, find them on Instagram at I am Cindy Simmons versus Marvelous McClellan Madness. And it's, by the way, I'm bippity boopity booyah. It's Cindy, Eric, Lily, and Luna rocking it out. Back to Marvelous McClellan Madness, we got Audrey, William, Ben, Alex, Henry, and Victoria representing i like it guys uh it's anybody's game so grab an age appropriate iced tea airplay this to your favorite uh device big screen whatever is now in your maybe a projector and welcome to mind the gap teams you'll have 45 seconds bippity boppity booyah you're up first you'll have 45 seconds to answer four plus one questions in tonight's round one category of tv and film They'll come at you from Boomer down to Zoomer. Think of it like Benjamin Button order. And anybody on your team can answer it. 45 second timer begins with. What TV show was set in Stalag 13, a World War II POW camp in Germany? Gosh. Uh, pass. Pass. Ah, that's okay. What movie starring Billy Crystal as a white collar guy in a dude ranch earned a Best Supporting Actor Oscar for Jack Palance? Oh, gosh, what's the one where they're in the desert? They shook their hips. I don't even know what it's called. Oh, my gosh. You're so close. They're, we'll come back to it. Who was Peter Griffin's mortal enemy on Family Guy? Um, uh, family Guy. Uh, was Not a rooster, but a... a chicken? Was it and chicken? how big was he? A giant chicken? Correct. In the animated <laughs> film Zootopia, what animal worked in City Hall and slowly moved through his stay? Sloth. Sloth. The sloth is right back to the, to the show. It was in the 60s. It was POW camp. Not um, happy. pass. Uh, Billy, how about the Billy Crystal one? They were in cowboy hats. They're from a city. Uh, oh. City Slickers. City Slickers yeah. is right. I remember the dance. <laughs> I should have done the dance. You're so correct. <laughs> Bippity boppity booyah. Three points in round one. You did great. Woo! You'll have some time to think about what you've done. <laughs> Marvelous McClellan Madness, the triple M. It is your first round on Mind the Gap Live, and your four plus one bonus questions will come from the TV and film super category. Okay. 45 second timer will begin with. The original Mickey Mouse Club show made a star of this actress and singer who continued her movie career with the Shaggy Dog and Babes in Toyland. Oh, oh, pass, pass. This I don't know. This one. One. Who starred as the title character in the 1978 movie Superman? Oh, what's the guy's name? Oh, oh, oh my God. I went to college with the son. What's his oh name? Uh, Reeves. Reeves. No, Reeves is correct. Uh, Reeves. Reeves. We'll Reeves. Take it. What okay. was the name of the viral book movie series about teenage vampires? Oh, uh, Vampire, Diaries. Vampire Diaries? Incorrect. Before that, they glowed and sparkled. Oh, I don't know. Pass. Pass it. In the movie, what kind of creature was Rocket in the Guardians of the Galaxy? Raccoon. Raccoon is right. Back to the the twi Oh my God! The movie about vampires that twinkled in the sun. At night. Oh my God! Twilight. Twilight is right. Three points. Well done, marvelous McClellan oh, madness. That Audrey know. McClellan, but a little bit spelled uniquely I'm on her Instagram. <laughs> Nice so job. Heated game. I, I liked it. Good job, guys. 
Uh, Bippity Boppity Booyah. I may think this might be the best name so far in Mind the Gap. Well, really like <laughs> but it's it. literally like a net for the cello. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. It's perfect. And guys, round two is extra exciting because it's the wager round. The wager round makes makes you allows you to shift around in the scoreboard. So currently it's three three, and you'll get four questions again in all those categories. And however many you get right is how many you can wager on the bonus question. But let's get the first four right. All of these will come at you from the pop culture super category. Yeah. All right. Forty five second timer begins with. What artist's 1962 Campbell's Soup Cans officially sounded the arrival of pop art in the U.S.? Uh, Andy Warhol? Andy Warhol is right. On Saturday Night Live, what comedian hosted Mr. Robinson's Neighborhood, a spoof of Mr. Rogers? Oh, uh, Robinson, Chris Robinson from the also Black Donkey and Shrek, I believe. Uh -huh. uh, oh, uh, it's oh, oh, Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy is right. These dolls were much edgier than their predecessors and featured giant eyes and sassy Bratz. clothes. Bratz is right. What <laughs> app sensation released in 2016 allowed cell phone camera users to capture animated monsters that would appear in real life? Pokemon, Pokemon what? Go. go. Pokemon Go is right. Unlocking the wager question. <laughs> Unbelievable. With maximum points. Team Bippity Boppity Booyah. Booyah, you have up to four points that you can wager. I will reveal the generation this is from. Okay. And it is from Gen Z. How many points up to four would you like to wager? We'll just do all four. We're going for it! Yeah. A true mind the gappy. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. Sorry. I apologize. <laughs> Here we go. You'll, unlike every other question, we'll need one final answer from the team collectively. Okay. What line of e-readers was launched by Amazon in 2007? Kindle? The Kindle is absolutely yeah! correct. It is a full sweeper in the wager round. Unbelievable <laughs> job. Bippity boopa, boopity booyah. <laughs> I do not get stumbled. 11 points, unbelievable job. But for now, a little bit of quiet time. Marvelous McClellan Madness. I know it seems a little scary. You're down by what seems like a lot, but this is the wager <laughs> round. And up to eight points are available. Here we go. 45-second okay. timer begins with this question. We don't know. We're going to pass it. What cowboy character was used in tobacco advertisements from 1954 all the way up to 1999. Uh, Camel? What was Incorrect. Marlboro? Marlboro is the one. What early computer game was designed to teach students about the realities of 19th century pioneer life? Oregon Trail. Oregon Trail is right. What was the name of, t of the tight necklaces popular in the late 90s? Chokers. Chokers is right. It shows up around Thanksgiving to help Santa keep an eye out for good or bad behavior. He usually is involved in lightly shenanigans that keep everyone wondering what we'll be up to next. Elf on the Shelf is absolutely correct. Great job, Team, team Triple M. You can wager up to four points. But remember, oh, yeah, generation. Oh, the generation is Z. Is that who's that? Okay, we'll do it. Yeah. Ready, guys? We'll need one correct on answer guys. from the family. Okay. What viral meme was based on a picture of a social media user standing on a sidewalk wearing a light colored shirt and shorts? Guys, think deep. Think deep. Like a light do, colored shirt? I mean, do the light colored shirt and shorts have anything to do with the actual meme? Mm. The dress one? I think it was like, oh, it was, no, no, no. No. <laughs> okay, they make it better than me. Um, How about, I think, it's a, I think it's time for a co host help. I think you should give him a hint on this one. That's the thing, is I don't know this one. Mm. Let's give him a different meme. 
because I want this game tied. <laughs> Much more dramatic. Uh, name the Sesame Street character that became a popular meme. Kermit, Kermit the Frog is absolutely Kermit, right. Kermit. He's wearing a green shirt. Unbelievable job. Eight points. Our four the points. Little, the little four. brother. Great job. 11 points to 11 points. Our influencer family showdown is off to the races. It is a tight game. And, and in what? Oh, the answer to the original one. I too didn't know it, by the way. It's do it to him or you know I had to do it to him. And I wish I could. I, I, I should share my screen to show you the meme. But we'll do it next. We'll all Google it. We have TikTok. Team Bippity Boopity Booyah. Don't worry. I know it seems like I've played favorites. I will play favorites the second you're down as well. <laughs> because so. you've done such a great job at maximizing your score. <laughs> Round three and our first, um, we don't want to call it trash talk, but it's an opportunity to hear from the team, for the other team to hear from their uh, competition. Is there anything you'd like to say to the Marvelous McLennan Madness team? Um, I no, I actually adore Audrey, so I can't trash talk her. <laughs> I love positivity. That was great. <laughs> round, unfortunately, round three is something we'd like to call the difficult round. The difficult round is because it's history and headlines, and so far our anecdotal evidence shows that people know less about this than pop culture. It's a right. little disappointing, but that's okay. We're in the game business. <laughs> so guys, 11-11, 45-second timer in the difficult round. We'll begin with, what medical device was invented in 1960 60, by Wilson Greatbatch, radically changing cardiac health care? Uh, yes, the not, not the, that, that thing, but the thing you actually put inside of you. Nope. Pacemaker is the one. Correct. What came down in 1989 signaling the defrosting of the Cold War? Uh, the wall, the, um, the wall? The wall, the wall. Which wall? The, that wall. In <laughs> in Germany. Uh, Berlin. Berlin. Berlin Wall is correct. What constitutional amendment has been hotly debated for most of the millennials' adult life? Oh, uh, uh, oh God, God, right. arms. Correct. How did Steve Harvey mess up the Miss Universe pageant in 2015? Same wrong name. That's right. Bonus question. 1984. What woman was the first to be listed on a majority party ticket for vice president? Oh, Palin? Sarah Palin. Incorrect. Oh. I learned this today. Geraldine Ferraro was the first oh, female oh, vice oh, president. Oh, I didn't think. Thank you. Not bad. It's a good answer. Chris? Though. We're like, Sarah Palin! <laughs> was she the girl? <laughs> uh, yeah, I would have been asking you the same thing. Uh, very nice, guys. And uh, Marvelous McClellan Madness at Audrey McClennan, but spelled slightly differently, is down by four points in exactly the middle of the game. We've played two and a half rounds, and there's five to go. The difficult round is upon you. I believe in you. 45 second timer. Okay. Well, I'm having a bad attitude. I'm just not good at it. Oh, I think you're doing great. You got this. 11 points. You got this. Here we go. What popular instant camera was demonstrated in 1947 for the first time? Kodak camera? Incorrect. The one that prints the pictures. Oh, Polaroid. Polaroid is right. Originally known as the UPC. This 1974 uh, invention transformed checkout lanes and allowed retailers to track sales and stock. Hi. Scanner? What is it called? Barcode. Barcode, Barcode is right. What 1998 news story was the first to break on the internet before mainstream press? It involved a president and one of his aides, and you don't have to say anything more than that. Oh, water? Was that? In later. Oh, uh, pass. Pr uh, this streamer was the first individual YouTuber to reach 100 million subscribers in 2019. Oh. Correct. That's the one. Back to it was uh, a president before George Bush. Bill Clinton the scandal. He's that Did they get Clinton. it? I'll take it. Bill Clinton is correct. We get a big scandal. We don't need to talk about it anymore. Four points. Unfortunately, no bonus in this one. But that's yeah. okay. Guys, we've made it. 
It's, it, it's my favorite round of the show. It's my favorite round for two reasons. One, I get to use the word penultimate. And how often do you <laughs> say that? But two, it's because my co-host and co-inventor of buying the game, the actual board game that's available to order on solidroots.com and coming to amazing retailers shortly, will transform from just being the co-host to also being our musical guest, where if you get the first four questions correct, you will unlock a Chris challenge that involves guessing pop culture music in a new way. But first, bippity boopity, bippity boppity booyah, I'm gonna get it right, is your 45 second timer. Okay. Here we right. go. Bring it What movie actress sang True Love with Bing Crosby in a 1956 movie? Oh, gosh. Uh, uh, Ginger Rogers? No. That's uh, a good guess. We'll come, how about we come back to that one? Yeah. Who are Jordan, Joey, John, Danny, and Donnie? Oh, no, here's a little boy! Of course, you know that what award-winning pop star's real name was Peter Hernandez. You could say he would jump on a great grenade for you. Oh, uh, 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 Bruno Mars. Bruno Mars. Bruno Mars is right. This Canadian singer was known for jinxing professional sports teams and athletes by rooting for them. Oh, Canadian singer? Yes, he's a rapper. Uh, uh, yeah, slide, uh, tipsy, tootsie slide. Oh gosh! Why oh, fast. Pass. Coming back to the 1956, Bing Crosby sang with this I'm woman. Who... Oh, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Pass on that one. We know the other answer. What's that? We'll take. We'll take it. Drake. Drake is correct. Do okay. you know the other one? No, um, no, I don't. God. That's okay. The answer is Grace Kelly. But oh. good news for you, bippity boppity booyah. It doesn't matter that you didn't get all four questions correct because we're still going to unlock Chris as tonight's yeah. entertainment. And one extra bonus point available to you if you can guess it. Okay. Chris. Uh, I'm going to go with the boomer one. So this was actually popular between 1969 and 1974. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Brady Bunch. Brady Bunch. The Brady Bunch is right. Oh. Team Bippity Boop Boppity Booyah. I'm going to get it right once. <laughs> Got the bonus question taking up their score up to a very challenging 19. And marvelous McClellan Madness. It is your time to tackle the penultimate okay. round. Our okay. round. But before. Marvelous McClellan Madness, is there anything that you would like to say to your competition? No, because we love that we love Cindy. So mm -hmm. we're positive over here too. Prepare to lose. Oh, see, they're so mean. You, so <laughs> are you saying you're more positive than their positivity? Because that's that's the competitive spirit. 45 second timer begins with. Ready? See guys. What song? written by Irving Berlin and sang by Kate Smith, was released in 1940 and 1942, covered by many artists. It's right. a very patriotic song. Uh, um, People Star want it to be the new anthem. Oh, jeez. Pass for now. We'll go back. According to a Billy Joel song, when did the fire start? Bonus points if you sing it. We didn't start the fire. Oh, that's right. <laughs> nice. uh, we didn't start. The, when did it start? I don't know when did it started. It was it. what? We didn't start the fire. It was all we the world's been turning. That's the one. Billy Joe Armstrong, Mind Turn, and Trey Cool made of what American punk band? Oh, she say it again. Trey Burke, Mike, Billy Joel Armstrong, Mike Durnt. Good riddance. Oh, I don't know. This country music so, uh, group sang "Cruise and Holly." Holy. Oh, Jesus. I don't know. It's, it's, okay. okay. We're horrible at music. Marvelous McClellan madness. It's okay. God bless America was what we were looking for. Uh, Billy Joel, Armstrong, Mike Durnt, and Trey Cool Makeup Green Day. Uh, Florida Georgia Line sang Cruz and Holly. Un holy. Unfortunately, you only got one correct, but it doesn't yeah. matter because you still get to unlock Chris. As our co-host slash, okay, you got, can I ask this? You might know this too. 
All right, you guys uh, tend to be looks tend to skew a little younger, so I'm actually going to give you uh, a TV show that was on between 2005 and 2013. Okay. All right. Yep, Ben. <laughs> The office. The office. The office is right. Congratulations, marvelous McClellan madness, capturing the bonus point in the ultimate music round, taking your score up to seventeen, trailing bippity boopity booyah by two, and no big deal, because in this round, every correct answer is worth two points. Yes. We're gonna switch it up on you guys. Bippity boopity booyah. You guys get to chill because you're in the lead. Marvelous McClellan Madness. You guys are up first. I need you to gather the team for the final round. And no super category can be more representative of the changes between generations than slang. Slang will be our final category for the final round. We're adding in one more. Time. Oh, yeah. I like it. Get the full team on this. We need everyone's help. Slang is the category. 45 seconds on the timer. Two points per correct answer. Boomer down to Zoomer. Okay, ready, guys? Here we go. What did someone mean when commenting that something was a gas or a gasser? Amazing. Well, take it. It's a good time or it was funny. What did Wayne and Garth encourage people to do on SNL? Party, right? Is that it? Party. Let's party. Oh, uh, party, party. What is it? You guys party on. Party? We'll take it. What would a millennial say to coldly dismiss someone? Ratchet? I don't know. Talk to the hand. Talk to the hand? No, not quite. Whatever. A little bit older. This was pa in in, in uh, the NWA movie. Uh, Ice Cube's son's character said this. Shoot. Uh, the guy who played... Skip. Skip. When someone caused a person emotional stress, what was that person said to be? Oh, shoot. What's that? Hater. <laughs> it's, uh, it's being used in political discussions. Uh, triggered triggered oh triggered okay you always say that uh triggered and guys what would a millennial say to coldly dismiss someone we were looking for by felicia oh by felicia that's right okay no, not bad guys you 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 i mean 21 is that oh, yeah. uh yeah 21 they got they got wayne and garth correct as well i forgot about okay. the double the points the double the points we made that rule up oh, recently it's still something we're adapting to uh bippity boppity booyah yeah. Yeah. Let's do it, for the tie. we need four points for the win we're gonna play the round till the very end and you're gonna get the best score you possibly can okay we're ready. 45 seconds and for the ultimate winner's floor and a picture of something that i have around my desk <laughs> 45 seconds here we go Okay. Playing super category. What did the term "groody" mean? Groovy or "groody"? Groody, G R O D Y. Grody. Grody. Oh, grody. Oh, Bad. Like, like that's yeah, disgusting. Like, disgusting is correct. What did Hans and Franz want to do for you? Paul, you are <laughs> the one. What was someone called who purposefully tried to provoke others on the internet? Uh, 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 troll. Oh, troll. troll is right. What word derived from a high-end fashion brand could mean good, chill, or awesome? Gucci. Gucci. That, Gucci is right. <laughs> Opening the bonus question. What exactly was a a a, a one deer? One deer. One, uh, okay. one direction. One, one direction brand. One D on One Direction fan <laughs> is absolutely <laughs> right. Congratulations. Oh, my Hallelujah. You have played Mind the Gap Live amazingly today, and we would love to give you the floor. Uh, tell, the, tell them what you got going on in your life. We, um, we are so excited. We do um, a yearly Christmas card um, that we dress up in costumes, and she loves it. 
really. Um, and goodmorningamerica.com featured us the last two years. So we are in the middle of getting ready to do our photo shoot. Yes, not in July, but we are planning it. Um, so we're really excited. And I'm the new host of the Party City podcast. What? Um, so Shout out Party City. That's amazing. Yeah, so I love it. Uh, that is, you played great. Marvelous McClellan Madness. Don't fret. You were amazing. <laughs> if it's okay with Chris and the rest, we'd love to give you the floor. Tell us what you got going on in your life. Oh my God. I mean, there's, there's five kids. What, what, I was gonna say, what, what don't we have going on in our lives? No, we're, we're, we're on social media. I share our entire life. It's an open book, as much as I hate that. But um, I've been, yeah, I've been doing it since this guy was one. One? He's almost 16. Wow. So, yeah, so we are just, uh, it, I'm just trying to keep it together, Steve. I'm trying it. to keep it together right now. I have four teenage boys that are doing not like craziness. So we're, we're bringing it in right now. Well, you guys have amazing energy. You have a bunch of new followers, at least two. Chris and I are following <laughs> your accounts. That's probably, yeah. hey, that's good. We want to thank you for participating in our in our game that brings generations together and especially meaningful when we can't you know be with each other and see each other. This is Mind the Gap Live. I'm Steve Starovinsky. Thank you for watching. We wave to the camera and say bye. 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 bye.